I'm always looking for alpha, meaning possibility of gains. And in this video, we'll cover the grayscale trusts that I selected for a very small trade, just in case to see if what happened in previous cycles, but actually in the last cycle, I was able to reproduce this cycle. So the three assets that are going to so the three assets that we are going to look at are the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's how I call them. The good LTCN. So that's the Litecoin Grayscale Trust. The bad Bitcoin Cash Grayscale Trust, BCHG, and the ugly, which is Filecoin Grayscale Trust, F I L G. The premise was select assets in the grayscale trusts that had a good performance in the previous cycle and buy them at a low price and see if at the end of the bull run, post the exponential phase of Bitcoin, we can get significant returns. That is the premise. And I put a small amount, so less than $500 per position, just to see what happened. I'll tell you right away what my performance is for these three assets and we'll cover the graphs right after. For the Litecoin Grayscale Trust that I bought in February of 2024, so at the beginning of the year, the performance is minus 0.5%. So I'm very close to what I paid in February of 2024. That was the bad. The ugly, it's Bitcoin Cash Grayscale Trust, BCHG, that I bought in April of 2024, a little later, and that one is down 63%. So quite volatile, and I'm losing a lot of money. And the ugly, which is Filecoin Grayscale Trust, FILG, that one is down 80%, even worse. But I knew before getting into it that this could be a possibility. It could either go well or go really bad. But the bull run is not completed. We're in October 2024. I want to hell these stocks until potentially the end of 2025 or October of 2025 to see where we are at and see what is the performance. Keep in mind that I looked into these three assets, the actual cryptos, because this, these are trusts within the grayscale portfolio of trust that you can buy OTC. So you buy the, these as shares. They're not crypto. You don't have to have a wallet or things like that. You buy it OTC over the counter with your brokerage firm, with your bank. That's what I did. So these three coins, just to give you an idea, Litecoin, I have a little tiny position of Litecoin because I mine Dogecoin. And when I mine Dogecoin, I also mine Litecoin. So I get Litecoin rewards. But I have sold already quite a bit of Litecoin in my position. So that's why it's a tiny fraction. It's uh, I think it's less than $20 that I have in Litecoin. I have looked into the coin and have not found a reason to invest in the crypto asset Litecoin. Compared to Bitcoin, compared to Solana, compared to Sui, compared to even memes, I don't see the interest in buying Litecoin. So that's why I'm a little surprised of the performance, as we'll see later, of the previous bull run for the Grayscale Litecoin Trust. Why did it go that high? I still don't know, but that's why I made the trade. I wanted to see if it reproduced or maybe even gets better performance than the previous cycle. We will see. So Litecoin, not a good coin for me. Bitcoin Cash, which is a fork of Bitcoin, is not Bitcoin and it will never be Bitcoin. I have absolutely, again, no idea why people would buy the Bitcoin Cash crypto asset. I own zero dollars of Bitcoin Cash. I have never bought 
Bitcoin Cash. The only thing linked to Bitcoin Cash that I have bought is the Bitcoin Cash Grayscale Trust for this purpose right now. And the last coin, which is Filecoin, again, 0% and $0 invested in Filecoin, the real crypto asset. I have, again, no reason to possess this coin in 2024 and 2025. They are way better coins out there to invest beside Filecoin, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash, in my personal opinion. But I still conducted this little study to see what will happen. So let's start with Litecoin, then we'll go to Bitcoin Cash, and then to Filecoin. So Litecoin Grayscale Trust, like I indicated, I'm pretty much even on what I bought in February. So February is something like in this region here, January. Yeah, in this region here, I bought, the price went up and corrected, and we're back to square one. Why didn't I sell here? because the purpose was to keep the asset until the end of the bull run, meaning end of 2025. Whatever happened in between, I had no idea what to expect, so I just let these three assets run their course and see what happens. But with Litecoin, post this breakout here, yes, we corrected, we found a few supports, but we have increasing higher lows. So we are slowly getting up, which is very bullish. Is it going to be another here base to still increase and get close to 20? Possibly, we will see what happened. But Litecoin, the Grayscale Litecoin Trust is the one on the daily chart that looks the best. And obviously the performance here I haven't lost much money, kind of goes with the result. Let's have a look now at the weekly and then you will see where or why I invested in these trusts. Here you go. This is the data of the previous cycle where we got two peaks, one at above $500 and this one a uh, little above $450. We're currently trading at $14 and we went as high as 48. So you see that even this bump here, to me, it's not a big deal. If we try to reach these levels of $450 or $400 or even higher, if at the end of the bull run in 2025, we get there. So I'm still patient, I'm still looking at it, but nothing has happened yet in terms of movement in the trust post having event beside this tiny blimp that we see for um, Grayscale Litecoin Trust. So this LTCN has been the best performance or performance of the three trusts. Now let's have a look at Bitcoin Cash. You see here, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Cash. Okay, I see why. Bitcoin Cash I bought in April, so it should be here, $18, that's why. I bought it a little late, so that's why right now we are, I am that negative minus 63% in the asset. If I bought it in this region, in February, I would have been positive right now for BCHG. Again, there's a similarity in the structure of the asset. After the pump here in March and April, we corrected, found a base that is higher than this base and higher than this base. So we have increasing higher lows. And we see recently that for example, today, the Grayscale Bitcoin Cash jumped 17%. So it's coming back. It's trying to break here, trying to break the ME200 a little bit like the Litecoin Trust. So they are behaving similarly. 
but because my entry was late, it explains the performance that I see here. So I always advise to enter closer to supports. So that would have been here in this region, not here. This is chasing. And usually when you chase, you end up potentially paying much higher than what you should have paid if you waited for consolidation periods further down the movement. Once a stock or a crypto shoots in price, it's never a good idea to buy it when it's increasing. You need to wait and see where it's gonna stabilize. Most of the time, there's a retracement, so it corrects back hard, and that's usually a bigger, a better entry point by waiting for support. And the signal like this, so here throughout this correction, it was negative, negative, you know, the channel was always going down. Here started to stabilize. And then now that we see a breakout here with volume, then it's a very nice entry point to, if in this case, the, the price turns and goes back down, your risk is from here to the support instead of being from here to the support, like I did. That was my fault, but you will see that it does not matter too much when you look at the big picture. The Bitcoin Cash Trust from Grayscale right now is trying to break up, very positive. It's gonna probably lower my losses, but I have a better entry point for the Litecoin Grayscale Trust. And on the weekly, and on the weekly for the Bitcoin Cash Trust, we hit highs of $60 and $56. So you see here the potential is much lower on Bitcoin Cash versus Litecoin. So I bought here at around 16 or something like that. And here we are. But again, my goal is to get back to 50, 60 or 100 or 200 if it goes that high. So we will see how high we will go in 2025. So even this poor entry of mine could become positive if we break in this region and above and if we reclaim the all-time highs of the previous cycle. Again, my theory here was to be patient. I'm going to be patient. But at this stage, I'm down significantly in this position. And finally, we will look at Filecoin. So Filecoin, I bought it here in April of 2024. Now we're down, like I indicated, 80%, quite significant movement. But again, I, get in I got in late. It was not necessarily an amazing entry, but it was part of my thesis to see if I was gonna be able to achieve this type of performance with Grayscale Trusts. You will see, however, that Filecoin, we have less data. So this one is more of a Hail Mary, just to approve a concept to see if a third asset within the Grayscale Trust could perform like Bitcoin Cash or the Litecoin Grayscale Trust. Right now, I'm down 80%. The trust has corrected quite a bit. We are at this base level here. Very, very low, very, very stable, uh, good consolidation. We may start to initiate a little push here like the others, but the trust has not reacted as of now. We are still waiting to see what will happen. But we got from a base of $14, we went as high as $400 in this peak here in March of 2024. So potentially, we could go back even higher than that. But this asset is extremely volatile. You see it here. One day it was at 297, the next day it was at 350, the next day at 400, and the day after was back to 269. So 
extremely volatile asset. I like volatility, but this, I have to say, is a little extreme. And here on the weekly, well, we don't have data for the previous cycle. I don't know if it's because of trading view or because Filecoin was not available at that time. Could be a possibility. But the same thesis applies. I want to see if at the end of this bull run, I can increase significantly my gains even with a small position in these grayscale trusts. So that covers the video. I will do updates on these three assets throughout the bull run, probably near the end of 2024, probably March or April of 2025, and then after that, October of 2025, to see where we are at with these trusts and see if we can show important gains or could be a total flop and it doesn't work at all. We will see. But like I said, I put very small positions here. It's just a theory to see if we can get easy gains with these trusts and based on the performance we will decide what to do with them do we keep them do we take profits do we sell them completely and buy them back in the bear market of 2026 for example we will see